Hello, my name is Bruce and I'm a biologist. Um, I bought these shoes, um, well, because I needed a pair of comfortable sandals. I lived in Botswana, so it's very hot and you need your feet need to breathe. But I particularly chose these because um, they're made in Zimbabwe, so they're, they're locally made. And, and I know that these soles are extremely hard wearing. And as you can see, I've had these shoes about 20 years. And the tops are completely knackered and the bottoms are in fantastic condition but my wife hates them because they're so tatty. So the longest trip was Botswana to Amsterdam to Hong Kong to Bangkok, back to Hong Kong, down to Sydney and then across to Perth and then on a 1200 kilometer fieldwork transect in Western Australia and then back to Sydney, up to Hong Kong, back to Amsterdam and back down to Botswana. In Bangkok I attended the 2004 International AIDS Conference as a representative of the University of Botswana and in Australia I was doing field work on field fairy shrimps in temporary pools which is quite a contrasted thing. So these, these, these shoes have done a lot of field work with me, they've been on, out on the rocks and because they're, they're easy to take off as well so you can, you can jump into the pools. My home is, my, my domicile is Edinburgh because I own a flat there and I live there but I work in Oxford. My wife works in Edinburgh, my daughter is going to university in Scotland so I guess at the moment my home is Edinburgh, but I, I've never had a proper home. Very sad. So if you ask me where my roots are, I've, I'd lived in ten different towns before I was ten years old. So I have none. Um, I've had lots of experiences out in the bush in Botswana, but I think one thing that sticks in my mind is I wore these shoes to the AIDS conference, and uh, they, they were still quite new in those days. And um, and then I saw an identical pair on a person walking into the conference venue in front of me and so I immediately guessed he was a Zimbabwean, he was a Zimbabwean doctor. And uh, it was just a sheer coincidence because these shoes are made by a very small manufacturer in, in Zimbabwe and they're not exported beyond Southern Africa. When I tie up my laces I'm usually just thinking about getting to work on time but um, the laces on the shoes I'm wearing, I, I have a particular story because uh, they're a consequence of me breaking my ankle last year because I didn't tie them up properly and ended up tripping on one in a toilet. <laughs> I can work extremely long hours some days, actually many days, um, but then I get pleasure in a lot of what I do when I'm doing that. But yeah, it's um, because I've got uh, the family spread all over the place. Uh, I'm, I, I, because of the cost of living in Oxford, I live in a shared house, so I, I get also get kind of stimulation from my housemates. Yeah, uh, it's nice because it means that I'm not just stuck in this, I'm either with colleagues from work or, or I'm at home, you know, kind of more diverse set of acquaintances and friends and things. There, there are jobs I don't like, I don't like any administration, so if I know I've got to do a heavy administrative job sometime, like my PDR review, which is the one that's due at the moment, then I really hate it. And I constantly procrastinate and try and find other things to do. You feel the class system a lot in Oxford compared with Edinburgh and certainly compared with Botswana. You see, it's, it's, it's Botswana, uh, Oxford always seems to take itself a little bit too seriously. You, know, it's, you feel Everett, you feel the elitism in Oxford, you see the sort of gated entry points to all the colleges and that kind of thing. And it's, it feels a bit snobby, to be honest. Um, well, materialistically, food and good health and security, um, education. Um, for me, um, I don't, I'm not really interested in material things, but experiences and, and the, keeping the brain active. Uh, I'm an academic and I love the unknown, I like, love intellectual challenges. I don't, and, and I hate sort of just empirical information. I, I don't want to be a repository of information. I want to be someone who is looking for answers to things we don't know, not just delivering stuff we do know. I think of myself as a global citizen. I, I've traveled a lot. Um, my daughter has just turned 21 and she also travels a lot. So it's, it's not only for me, but, but for the next generation. I would want her to live in a, a, a world she can travel in and doesn't feel constrained by I've always been fascinated with travel, David Livingstone, or the African explorers. I, 
I, I like meeting people from other cultures, other, other races. I'm in a mixed race relationship anyway, you know, mixed race marriage anyway. Um, but I just like new places. But I like, I also like to return to old places I remember with particular affection. So I would always go back to Southern Africa. Um, I, I just love the unknown. I'm an evolutionary biologist, so so I, I love find, uh, sort of testing evolutionary ideas about biological phenomena. Um, and and I, I love teaching. I, I really enjoy teaching. I, I love being in front of a class. I, I love my family. Um, and we, when you you live your life through your children a lot as well. So you want to make a footprint. I, I don't want fame or anything, but I want to know that people I've taught particularly have gone on to great things. It, one of the greatest pleasures you get in academia is when your students go all the way to PhD you know, and, and they remember you. So, so for example, last year I went to a graduation at UCL of one of my ex-undergraduates in Botswana and he's just got a PhD. Um, brought up in a little village outside Havaroni, the capital of Botswana. And his external examiner said it's one of the 10 top 10% of PhDs they'd ever read. And you know that you played a role in it. You, um, particularly if you're teaching in a developing country, you know you make a difference. And I go back and I look at all the people in, in government ministries and things who are involved in wildlife and, and uh, uh, environmental affairs and things, and I talk most all of them. That's, I'd, like, I'd like you to, because in a sense I've, be, I've lived a bit of history, so I, I'd like you to see the things that made me. So I'd like you to explore my memory and, and see the things that resonated with me through the memory, the, the formative experiences. Africa is my first love. So I, I'd just like to go spend much more time in Africa and in the Kalahari. So, so there's something very special about being out there. And I have a, I'm, I'm trying to put a, together a research project which will take me back there. And I've travelled a lot around the world, but that always comes number one. Just, it's for some, some reason when you've lived there, it affects you that way.